Hey guys, welcome back to Gunrunners. Today we're doing our final exotic shotgun video uh, right here. Actually, it fell on the ground. We've got the cut shell. Now there's a lot of myth and uh, rumors behind this thing, and we're going to get into those. And then we're going to do a ballistic skeleton test to see if the poor man slug is as good as the regular one out slug. This here is a cut shell, also known as a poor man slug. The basic idea is that you take a regular shot shell and you slice around the edges until the front tip is barely hanging on. Then once you load and fire the slug, the front end of the shell continues all the way into the target and contains the shot. Once it hits the target, that front end of the shell releases all the shot and all the energy is absorbed by whatever you're shooting. Okay guys, let's check out what we've got. Uh, this here's the top of the block so you guys are looking from the top end. Uh, right when our cut shell hit the target, it left a 0.75 inch entrance wound. Continuing on into the block, it seems that at about the one inch mark, the shell released all of the BBs and left a massive permanent cavity of about two inches in diameter. And that lasted from the two inch to the four inch mark. Then at the four inch mark, it looks like we've got our black plastic wadding stuck inside the gel. Continuing on up until the nine inch mark, we have all of our BBs stopping inside the gel. Now, I don't think we had any that penetrated out the side or the top. I don't see any uh, exit wounds there. So it looked like the penetration was actually pretty underwhelming. If you were to compare this to any of our videos, such as the Terminator slug video, you'll notice that the slugs tend to just penetrate all the way through the block and continue right on trucking. Um, now, with this 9 to 10 inches of penetration, this wouldn't really be good for defensive use. The FBI recommends that your round has at least 12 inches of penetration to be reliable, so I would not recommend this for home defense or any other type of self-defense use. All right, guys, thanks for joining us today. If you enjoyed our exotic shotgun series, please leave a comment below telling us what you want us to test next. Um, also, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. It's free and it really helps us out. All right, guys, have a nice day.